Welcome back to Rev My Life. Today I am going to show you the application of a couple of robots cleaning my bathroom. My bathroom is due for a clean and if you're like me, cleaning the bathroom has to be one of the most onerous tasks that we all face on a regular basis in our own households. And I think what complicates that more for me is when you've got children, especially children that are teenagers, because naturally they're trying uh, different facial cleansers, different scrubs, etc., And that residue ends up being on the ground, on the shower screens, which means it's more onerous to clean. So today I'm going to show you the application of the Hobot Leggy 7, cleaning the main floor and also the floor within the shower and also the application of the new Hobot 2S robotic window cleaner cleaning the shower screen. And that will give you a really good understanding of how well these products work in a real world environment. We haven't fluffed it up, this is just a, my bathroom that is due to be cleaned and I thought why not share it with you and show you how well robots can make your life easier. And you can see there that's uh, like a coffee scrub, like a facial scrub that's uh on the ground that needs to be cleaned. See, did a great job there of actually picking up those uh, coffee grounds that were on the ground there before. So now I'm going to clean the main floor of the bathroom and you'll note behind me I've actually shut the door. This is because on the other side there I have a carpeted area and I'm up on the first floor and remember my docking station for my Leggy 7 is actually downstairs. So really I'm just isolating the room so that I can mop this room as needed. So let's uh, turn on the Leggy 7 and let's see how now it cleans my bathroom floor. So we've cleaned the shower floor, the main bathroom floor, and now it's time to clean the shower screen. Now note these shower screens here are frameless glass, they're quite dirty, so I'm going to use a process of first dry clean to try and remove as much sort of soap scum as I can. Then, because it's so dirty, I'm going to do a two times wet clean for the final two passes, and let's see how well that brings up this shower screen. This shower screen here is really dirty at the moment. It's got um, soap on it and it may not be that easy to see with the camera on at the moment. So I'm just going to put on the O-Light and you can see that. Look at that. It really helps that 2000 lumen light to highlight all that uh, grime that's sitting there that shortly will be removed by the Hobot 2S.
Well, that was really quite impressive. You can actually see here on the cleaning pad, it's black around the edges where it's been lifting off that soap scum that was on the inside of the shower screen. Hence why it's so important as a part of your cleaning process to make sure that you do a dry clean first. Now in a moment, I'll be doing a couple of things off camera that you won't see. I'll be changing the pad because I don't want to put this soap scum onto a clear shower screen. I'll be cleaning the rubber tracks because again, I don't want soap scum being transferred onto the clean shower screen. And if you're not familiar how to clean the tracks, it's really turning off and on underneath, then the tracks will rotate. You clean it there with a baby wipe or something of that nature so you can remove any of the oils or soaps that might be present from cleaning the inside of the shower screen. Now solution wise, today we'll be using the Robot My Life crystal clear solution that is already in the dual spray tanks. The reason being this particular formula is really good at removing a dirt and grime. It's designed to help break it up so the robot can easily scrub it away, which you'll see in a moment when we start cleaning the inside of the shower screen. finish two wet passes on the inside of the shower screen. And remember that shower screen was full of gunk. It was really dirty. Again, it's probably an extreme circumstance. We did that deliberately to show you how well the 2S works. So let's use the O-Light on the inside of the shower screen and let's see how well it removed some of that gunk and grime. Look how clean that glass is looking now. I'm just going to shine a 2000 lumen torch on the shower screen to show you that that gunk and grime has gone. 
And you remember at the very start of the video how much gunk and grime was there. I haven't cleaned the outside of the shower screen yet. I'm super impressed with the 2S. I mean, this is the best robotic window cleaner we have ever tested. Uh, most robotic window cleaners would not be able to remove that gunk and grime that was on the inside of that shower screen. And, and really, it's down to the large surface area. The six and a half kilos of suction and the double sprayer makes a huge difference to your cleaning. Um, if I wanted a really, really good job, I'll probably do another clean on the inside because a couple of little bits it missed, but I would say probably got about 95%. So I'm really happy because that shower was really dirty and was soap. And soap scum's really hard to get off. So I'm, I'm super impressed. It's something that we use on a regular basis. And I think you'll be super happy with the Hobot 2S as well.